What's up, guys? Uh, I am doing another quick update. Hopefully quick. I'm gonna try to get this not ramble on too much. Um, so I was having an issue with the prints. I thought it was originally print settings. I went through about two-thirds of a roll of filament working on my print settings, and in the process, I kind of figured out what was going on. Um, when I was find when I was dialing in my settings, I would if I printed one of them, um, it would be fine, but then I'd be, I'd be like, okay, I'm good, and I'd, I'd start printing more. Um, so I'd do like three, six, something like that, and then they would get messed up. Um, I'll show you what was happening real quick. Uh, let me do. Um, so this is what was happening. Some of you probably saw the picture, uh, I posted of a full, like 21 of these saying, oh, I'm having stringing issues because, you know, it's pet G. I just figured it was stringing issues. I don't print with it often at all. I think this is the second time since I've owned my printer in a couple of years that I've actually used it. Um, so that was when I started dialing in settings, kind of beating my head up against the wall. Uh, I did find that like my, my, um, Part of my hot end was loose which was causing like some scraping on some stuff on the top of stuff i resolved that issue and i was like oh nice it's fixed but no it wasn't fixed still having the same issue so what i figured out was um because of that little lip in there which you can see um which i don't understand why it's in there um because it's actually i feel like you know it it's somewhat tighter, but it's still not super tight. And it's even looser in the that, that like, thinner walled part there. I, I just don't understand why it's there. Um, but what I realized is when I'm printing one, it does a layer, it does a layer, it does a layer. When it gets to that overhang, that little lip, it would do the layer and then it go to the next layer. And in that process, um, since it's happening la one layer immediately after the other, it, they were still warm, they, you know, fused together, they stuck to the wall, because, um, you know, without multiple layers sticking to the wall, it's literally one two millimeter thick layer, um, or point two millimeter thick layer, whatever it is, uh, trying to hold on to the, the, the side next to it. Um, but once you did, once multiple happened, it was able to hold on. But what was happening here is because if I had a plate of even just six of these guys, which these three were from six that I tested last night, you could see that ha what was happening was that bottom layer down there was that is actually the, like at the end over here is actually the, the very first layer of the overhang. It would do the layer and then it would move and do the next next um piece next piece next piece next piece and then it would come back and they do the layer on top of it but at that point it had time to sag and move away from it and just kind of you know do this thing because when you actually look it's pretty much identical like how deep that is and how deep that is except it's on an angle i don't know why it did like that you can also see it from the bottom of this one kind of the same thing um you can actually might be able to see the lip there still just like a little bit um so, uh, what I decided to do, um, let me close out of that, is, um, I went ahead and I, I just did the one thing I know how to do in Blender, which is use <laughs> booleans to add stuff and remove stuff using other shapes, um, and I, um, after a couple of shapes, uh, I was able to pretty much remove or add material, um, to completely get rid of that, like, lower part, the thinner wall, and which in turn gets rid of the lip, which you can see really well from, from here. Um, and there's nothing there. Uh, I pretty much started with, like, a big round circle which was a, a cylinder and then i used um that was the size of the mount and then i used this inner one which was the size of the um uh um 
the edge of the lip. Uh, and I used the inner one to cut a hole in the outer ring. And then I took the outer ring and I fused it to the mount to then make the um, the full uh, ring like that, except it was one piece, not two. And then what I did was, um, since I actually didn't know how to like round those edges, I was like trying to learn how to do it, but I I'm not really good at Blender. So I just ended up thinking, oh, let me just use another Boolean. <laughs> so I created this cylinder and what I did was I made it like really thin right over this spot. Uh, I removed the, the part, uh, the bracket piece, which made like this um, cut out and then I just extended that and moved it over and then I removed it from it and now it's pretty much perfect exactly like the original one except it just doesn't have that um, that thinner wall in the lip so hopefully that fixes it um, I am actually before I go to bed if they don't have any issues I'll print as many as I can for them to be done right when I wake up um, and then once that's done, I will send out invoices. I didn't want to send out invoices, ask for any money, collect any money until I knew I was going to be satisfied with what I was printing and sending to you guys. Obviously, I wish that would happen last week, but um, I work nine to five and I go to the gym three days a week. So uh, I, my, I didn't really have all that much time. Like I'm a couple of hours a night to kind of literally just like beat my head up against my desk trying to figure out what was going on um but hopefully i'm not jinxing it and it's good um these print fine and then tomorrow if i have time at work which i probably won't but um if not tomorrow then definitely saturday i will send out invoices to you guys to the paypal uh through paypal like i said before through paypal using the emails you put on the um on the uh uh google form uh if you're seeing this and you didn't fill out the google form please go to the one of the posts in s2k or in the facebook groups or just dm me and i'll send it to you um i know some of you dm'd me before the and and commented before the um the form was on the post uh i'm gonna try to contact some of those people just to make sure like hey did you fill out the form because you know you you showed interest before the form was out um i don't know if i'm gonna miss people and stuff like that definitely the people who dm'd me I'll, i'm gonna follow up with them but with the comments a little bit harder i don't want to just spam hey fill out the form fill out the form fill out the form because i know i'll get flagged on facebook for spam if i just repeat you know the same reply over and over again um but hopefully tomorrow or the next day uh i you know post a, a follow-up comment on the the, the posts um letting you know that everything's good. I'll post a picture of them and, and, um, uh, you know, I'll, I'll send out invoices in the next couple of days. Um, worst case scenario, this doesn't work and I got to think about something else, but I, I don't at this point, I mean, that's the only thing that I, I, I'm really hoping I'm not jinxing myself, but I want to give you guys an update cause it was a couple days. Um, uh, so hopefully the next update is, Hey, invoices are going out. Um, but yeah, uh, I will talk to y'all soon and everybody have a good night.